Hello, today I would like to show you how you can use your ADL in-flight weather device to display weather information in third-party apps. For the purpose of this video I am going to use Skydemon, but for flight is compatibility is also available and I am going to do a separate video on that. You have to remember that the third-party apps currently can only display weather information. So you have to trigger and control your downloads using the ADL Connect app and only then you can switch over to the third party app and display the weather information on their moving map. So as usual we open the flight plan menu and we enter our destination. In this example I am going to download the weather for a flight from Berlin, Germany to Dublin, Ireland. So I enter the destination Echo India Delta Whiskey and I put in a direct to Dublin so we get the magenta line on the map. You can add more intermediate waypoints but in general it's sufficient to enter the destination as the ADA system will download a rather wide corridor so the intermediate waypoints usually don't make a big difference. Then switch over to the download page and configure a download. I select the radar infrared strike and minima and I also select the download for wind and temperature. And I enter an altitude window between flight level 5.0 and flight level 2.6.0. Then I copy the ICAO code of Dublin from the flight plan into the meta task list. And I start entering the ICAO code of our departure airport Echo Delta Alpha Zulu. For Echo Delta Alpha Zulu, I select just the meta, and for Dublin, I select the meta and the task to be downloaded. Finally, I start a single hybrid download, and as this is an ADL 200 device, it can use the hybrid mode, which means it first tries to do an inexpensive 4G LTE connection, and only if that fails, it will revert back to the more expensive Iridium satellite link. Other ADL devices just offer the Iridium satellite download. But the procedure to show the weather data in third-party apps will be completely the same. Now if we scroll to the bottom of the download page, we see the ADL system messages which allow following the download progress. This 4G download is going to be pretty quick, but expect an Iridium satellite download to take approximately two minutes. Now the download is already completed and we can switch over to the moving map page. And there our radar corridor will soon appear once the radar data has been processed. There it is and we see that most of our route will be free of radar echoes but over the west coast of the UK we are going to cross a rather intensive frontal area. Then later on the descent into Dublin will probably be rather good weather as we are then past the frontal area. In addition to the radar we can activate the strikes, but as this is northern Europe and uh, we are in winter, probably no strikes around. Then we activate the infrared and we see that there is going to be quite some high cloud associated with the front. And the high cloud system is already going to start in the area of the Netherlands on this flight. So unless we have a very high performance aircraft, we are going to fly in IMC or between layers from this point on. But the really difficult and unpleasant part of the flight is going to come when we cross the more intensive frontal area shown on the radar later on. And on top we can also display the wind information. Um, as usual, we have quite some headwind on the way to the UK and at the bottom of the page we can now select the different altitude layers and the wind information will change accordingly. With all this information downloaded, we can now switch over to Skydemon. For this example, I first looked at all the weather data in ADA Connect, but in fact you can also already switch over to the third party app once you did trigger the download. So we switch over to Skydemon and the first step is to check that our configuration is all right. So we open the setup menu by pressing the little wheel on the left top of the screen and then we select the menu item for devices and we make sure 
the GDL90 compatible device is enabled. This is very important, um, else SkyDemon will not offer the possibility to read the data from the ADL device. Then we can press the start flying button to the top right of the screen and SkyDemon will ask if we would like to use the location services, which means the integrated GPS of the iPad or the GDL90 compatible device. Here we have to select the GDL90 compatible device as only then SkyDemon will receive position data and weather data from the ADA device. Now SkyDemon is already receiving the aircraft position and as you see quite a lot of the area is in a red shade. This means that um, no weather information has been received for this area yet. And more to the left you can see that a brighter color area is building and this is the area for which SkyDemon already received the radar information from the ADL device. Now you see it takes a moment until this builds up for the our long corridor to island so we can use the time and switch over to the airport page of the SkyDemon app. There we search for our departure airport Echo Delta Alpha Zulu, Schönhagen and then we can tap on the meta button and we see that our meta is just seven minutes old. So this information was also sent over from the ADL device to SkyDemon. Here I'm going to zoom in on the map as we just see some ADSB traffic. This is commercial traffic going into the Berlin Tegel airport and the ADL device is receiving the ADSB data and forwarding it to the SkyDemon app. Now we can scroll over to the UK and we see that SkyDemon did receive the radar data for the most interesting part of our flight with the frontal area over the UK. And you see that the image is very similar to what we have in ADI Connect and now you can navigate as usual in SkyDemon and overlay your flight plan and other navigation data with the radar data received from the ADL device. For this test, we just did a single download on the ADL device, but if you wish, you can also start an automatic download, and then the ADL device will automatically download the new weather information every 15 minutes. And this then gets also broadcasted to the third-party apps like SkyDemon. So if you wish, there is no interaction with the ADL Connect app required, and you will just get new weather information at SkyDemon every 15 minutes. The thing to remember is that currently SkyDemon does not display the timestamp of the received radar data, so I'd suggest to switch over to the ADI Connect app at least from time to time to make sure you have the timestamp all right and your data is really received and there is no technical issue. I hope this video did help you understand how you can use your ADL in-flight weather device with SkyDemon. And thanks a lot for watching and choosing an ADL device.